Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about the chained arrow notation, which was created by John Conway as a way to express extremely large numbers. Basically, it's Knuth's up arrow notation on steroids. It's way, way, way more powerful than the up arrow notation. Basically, it's a finite sequence of positive integers separate by rightward arrows. Its definition is recursive. However, it was shown that it eventually terminates. That means it's computable, that its outputs exist for all input sequences. So let's look at the definition. So first, a arrow b, it just means a to the power of b. So kind of the same definition as one single up arrow. And then what about A arrow B arrow C? So it basically just means A with C up arrow B. In other words, it's A with a lot of arrows B. And the number of arrows is the number C. So still kind of straightforward up to now. And then um, let's look at here. So A, arrow, dot, 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 and then arrow B. So there could be something, some more integers here. And then arrow A, it just means A, arrow, dot, 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 arrow B. So it means you just ignore one here. And then A, arrow, dot, 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 arrow B, arrow one, arrow C. It just means a arrow dot 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 arrow b. So basically anything behind arrow 1 will be ignored. So you can just ignore 1 here. And in this case, you ignore 1 and also everything behind it. So in this case, you ignore c also. And then the last case is a arrow dot 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 arrow b arrow c and arrow d. So what does that mean? It means A, arrow, da 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 da, arrow B, arrow, and then a bracket. A, arrow, da da da, arrow B, arrow, and then here C minus 1, arrow D, and then arrow D minus 1. So basically, you are decrease, you're decreasing the last number by 1, and then in the chain with the second last number decreased by 1 into the second last number. So as you can see again, basically this whole thing becomes the same thing, but you fit in the whole chain with C minus one. So this whole thing, except here is C minus one, you put in the place of C. And then at the end is D minus one. So let's look at one example. So let's look at this one. So three arrow three, arrow 2, arrow 2, what does that mean? It becomes 3, arrow 3, so the first two is the same, keep it the same, arrow, and then the, in this case, the 2, you change it to the whole thing except C minus 1, so this number becomes 1, and then you fit this thing into here, as you can see, so 3, arrow 3, arrow 1, arrow 2, it's basically this thing, but with this number minus one. So two minus one is one. So you put this thing here, and then at the end is D minus one. So it becomes two minus one. So at the end is arrow one. So it fits this definition. And then this thing, remember here, everything behind one will be ignored. So you can just ignore the one here. So then it becomes three arrow three arrow 3, arrow 3, arrow 1, arrow 2. And then again, using same definition, you ignore everything behind the 1. So you can ignore this 1 and this 2. Then it becomes 3, arrow 3, arrow 3, arrow 3. And remember, you have to do the thing within the bracket first. So this thing, remember, 3, arrow 3, it just means 3 to the power of 3. So then it means 3, 
arrow 3, arrow 27. And in this case, with this definition, so A arrow B arrow C just means A with C arrow B. So in this case, C is 27, so it means 3 arrow 27, 3. It means there are 27 up arrows between the two threes. And as you can see, this number is way bigger than G1 in Graham's number because G1 has four arrows, four up arrows. And here it has 27 up arrows. So it is a way bigger number. In this case, three, arrow three, arrow two, arrow two is a number way bigger than G1. And remember, those are all kind of small numbers, three and two. And you get a bit number much bigger than G1. Now let's change the third three, I mean the third two here into three. Let's see what we get. So three, arrow three, arrow three, arrow two. What is that? It means three, arrow three, and then you fit in the whole thing here with C minus one. So three, three, two, two in this case. And then at the end, it's two minus one. And as we can see here, three, three, two, two, which is the same as this one, which is this number here, or you can write it as this way. So this thing becomes three, 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 arrow, three, arrow, and then three, arrow, three, arrow, 27. You write no the one here. And then in this case, this number, remember this number is this number over here. So three, arrow, three, arrow, this thing, it just means three with a lot of arrows, three, and how many arrows? This many of arrows, this many. So three, arrow, 27, three. So it has this many arrows between the two threes. And, and as you can see, since this number is bigger than G1, that means this whole thing is bigger than G2 because G2 has G1 amount of arrows. And this number has more than G1 number of arrows. Now let's change the three here into four. So three, three, four, two. What do we get? So again, it means three arrow, three arrow bracket here, and then three arrow, three arrow, three arrow, two. And then at the end, arrow one, same definition. And then it becomes this thing over here. So at the end, you get three with a bunch of arrows. How many arrows? Three, 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 two. And this number over here because this whole thing is just this, as you can see. So this thing is this thing. So that means you have this many arrows. In other words, this number is bigger than G3. So as you can see now, there's a pattern. What's the pattern? So when this one is two, this whole thing is bigger than G1. When this thing is three, it's bigger than G2. When this thing is four, it's bigger than G3. In other words, the famous Graham's number is between 33642 and 33652. In other words, G64 Graham's number is smaller than 33652. And those are small numbers here. So Graham's number cannot be precisely represented using the chain arrow notation. But most of the time, we use 33642 to represent G64. But this is the bound over here. And those are just small numbers. So we can use this powerful chain notation, chain arrow notation, to write Graham's number this way. And this number here, this number bigger than G64, is on the other hand smaller than 3, arrow 3, arrow 3, arrow 3. So those are just four threes over here. And this thing over here is way bigger than Graham's number. And now, can you imagine something like 3, 3, 100, 100? That would be way, 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 way beyond the level of Graham's number. Now, Graham's number looks like 
tiny. Looks tiny. But surprisingly, what's surprising is that even this chain arrow notation is far too weak to represent numbers like tree three. So in other words, tree three is way too big to even for even something like chain arrow notation. So there we have it. This is uh, chain arrow notation. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.